Check. Check my test. Check my testing. Check. Check. Hello, my test. Check my testing. Check. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Happy Sabbath. Did, did you hear me clearly? Yeah. Really? Check my test. Can you see the screen? Yeah. Okay, let's pray. The Father in heaven, forgive us from our sins. Be merciful to us. Please still send the Holy Spirit, Lord, to be with us. Especially with me. As I read your word, this uh, give us wisdom and understanding to be like you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm very happy to be back. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Happy nice Sabbath. to see all of you after all your online classes. At least now you have a face-to-face -face lecture. Do you miss face-to-face -face lecture? Yes. Okay, now I'll give you a long lecture. Uh, whenever I pass this dorm, Mom, I remember my assignments. Mom told me to, I, actually I offered to tune the piano, but I forgot where the tuning <laughs> tools is. But I found it, Mom. Thank you. But every time I go here, somebody is playing, so I just go away again. <laughs> and then one of the assignments I remember is to fix the sound system, but I haven't had time yet. Also, and one of the assignments mom gave me is uh, to talk more about what we can do and what we cannot do during the Sabbath. I think during last time we were chatting. So, I went to the Adventist.org website, which is the official website of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, and I know there is a Sabbath observance uh, article, official article here. So, I'm just going to press F11 for full screen. Uh, I will first summarize and then if we are still okay, we will, or if you have other questions, we will try to discuss more. Check. Check my test. Check. Check. Yeah. So that it's not very echoey. So, this is the official statement on Sabbath observance of the Seventh-day Adventist Church voted in the General Conference session in 1990. This is just uh, actually a guideline, but to be official, this is the most official that we can find. The main objective of this document is to help us observe the Sabbath according to the Bible and the spirit of prophecy. I will just summarize all the subtitles very quickly. So you will have an interest and uh, so you will know what we are going to learn. So it is about our relationship with God, how do we, the principles and theology, what is nature of Sabbath and what is the Sabbath for in the Bible, the uniqueness of the Sabbath and the universality of the Sabbath, what else, time frame, when does the Sabbath start and end, Principles guiding Sabbath observance from the Bible. What does it have to do with uh, secular labor in the Old and New Testament? How about good works and Sabbath and the authority of God's Word? And then, uh, uh, home and family. When you get married, when you have kids and husband and uh, your home, what you can do on the family life during the Sabbath? Yeah and different kinds of hopes yeah, some people have two parents some people only one parent etc and the two sacred institutions are guess what the sabbath and marriage so uh, the responsibilities of adults as teachers you want to teach your children how to observe the sabbath and how to prepare for the sabbath what else and proper sabbath dress oh Another topic. In the importance of Bible study hour, because not everybody has, by the way, last time I came, I, we were having a question and answer about Daniel and Revelation here, remember? I was listening to the questions, and the questions are very intelligent, very intelligent questions. So, 
it looks like some people who asked the questions studied uh, elementary and high school in uh, Adventist school. So, very nice actually. So, but since not everybody goes to Adventist school in high school and elementary, the Sabbath school is very important. Family activities on the Sabbath, uh, what do you do? Do you just sleep all afternoon? Sabbath, how about recreational activities in the Sabbath? Yeah, mag -ano ba? Yeah. What kind of recreational activities can you do and can you not do? How about having aliens? Ano yung aliens niya? Visitors, those are visitors. What to do with visitors who don't uh, value the Sabbath? How about our culture? Oh, in our, in our culture, you know, this is how we do the Sabbath. But the summary is that we use the heaven culture, not our culture. Because in other cultures, they don't wear clothes. So, never mind the culture. We do the Bible and heavenly culture. How about in traveling? Yan. How about criticizing other people who are not keeping the Sabbath? How about in church institutions? What does the, should be, how do, how do we teach also Sabbath music? How about community outreach? Oh, magwawalis ba tayo pag Sabbath? Oh, by the way, I found out that Ted Wilson said, the, ano na yung program yung nagwawalis? Ano na yung, day? Yeah, something. Youth day. In youth day, some people said magwalis tayo sa street sa Manila. But Ted Wilson said, youth day is very, global youth day is very nice. But the community outreach should be aligned with the Bible, in, especially in Sabbath. And we can paint and clean and fix on other days other than the Sabbath. Okay, so there we are corrected with that. Hindi natin siguro unabasa dati. Community outreach and how about in gathering? Can we do in gathering? Yes, on other days other than the Sabbath. How about fundraising on the Sabbath? Yeah, we will learn. How about Sabbath wedding? Since wedding is a religious, ano naman yun, di ba? Religious, uh, ano tawag doon? Program. But, ang dami kasi yung niluluto doon. <laughs> How about Sabbath funerals? Oh, may sermon din naman doon. But, yan. How about Sabbath in hospital? If you become a nurse, a dentist, a uh, accountant in the hospital, a manager in the hospital, and or, or a patient in the hospital, you know what to expect here. How about emergency? Oh, emergency in hospital. How about uh, elective and diagnostic therapeutic services? Okay. How about administrative and business office? How will they pay if they want to uh, exit from the hospital? Make the Sabbath a special for patients. Okay. Ano pa bang nandito? How about uh, being voted out? Pag ang may-ari na ng Adventist hospital ay karamihan hindi na Adventist ang officers. Ayan. How about when you become a worker in a call center or in another, in a non-Adventist, uh, what are you going to do? Ayan. First, you make it clear. You try to look for a schedule. You try to exchange schedule. How about in Adventist educational institutions? Yan. How about, okay, how do we prepare? Yan. Worship, prayer, necessary activities. Okay, how about worship services? How about cafeteria? O kaya they don't accept cash in cafeteria. Accept, accept attendance of faculty in professional meetings. There is a seminar. What to do? How about radio stations? Oh, okay. hindi ko ako nakarating dito sa pagbasa ng radio station. <laughs> okay, I think the advertisement for radio stations should also be... That's why I don't like to put advertisement in my YouTube. Because I cannot shut down the advertisement on Sabbath. But some people sing in my video in YouTube. And I, when, I, when they sing copyrighted songs, I cannot control YouTube because otherwise the owner of the song will sue YouTube. So instead of that, YouTube will just give the royalty of the advertisement to the owner of the song. And if I upload a, a video with a song, then my video will have ads. You try it yourself. They will put ads even if you don't make money on your videos. 
if there is a copyrighted song. So sometimes I mute the song or I just don't record the song. Promotional trips. Because may, I have many viewers who view in the summer. How about promotional trips? Yeah. How about in... Uh, okay, ano pa bang nandito? Examination! Oh. Sinong naka-perfect kanina sa chapel? Perfect ba kayo si chapel? Hindi kayo naka-ano? Hindi pa kayo nag-take? Really? You haven't taken the chapel exam? I gave an exam in the chapel. Three points only. I hope you will get perfect. About 88% of the people got 3 over 3. And then I tried to check the papers. Even the guys, people who got 0, the answers are correct. Moodle did not understand the answers. So I just uh, override the score. Trying, first I look for all the people who have 0. And then oh, actually they preach a sermon in their answer. So I just put one, one, one. But somebody doesn't want to answer. All these answers are blank. So I cannot do anything. Only one person got zero. <laughs> Sabbath examinations. <clears throat> and how about, uh, okay, when you are in employed in a secular, what do you do? Ooh. Sorry. My ref tag. Okay. How about essential and emergency work? Ano pa bang nandito? So all of those things, we are, how about, uh, ano pa bang nandito? Purchase of goods and services on the Sabbath. Oh, how about that? Sabbath travel. Okay, before you fall asleep, let me put here that travel on commercial should be avoided. Oh, really? Tingnan nyo to. Automobile fuel and other needs should be cared for before the Sabbath begins. Oh, that's why when I read this, I, tar I put my fuel during the Sabbath. Now, sometimes I forget. I just steal the fuel from my dad's uh, car or my brother's car <laughs> and return it later with a horse. At least I did not buy <laughs> on the Sabbath. Sometimes I forget. Treating a specific employment problem, what do we do? We just pray, explain it, and etc. Okay. Rotation of schedule, shift work. What else do what are the other problems that we can encounter? Okay, that's just uh, yeah. So okay, now we will read. The main objective of this document on Sabbath observance is to provide counsel or guidelines. This is not uh, to allow you to do work on the Sabbath. This is to help you avoid work on the Sabbath. You see, some people, I have a friend who said, Oh, no, that's just guidelines. They are not rules. That's just guidelines. I said, this gu guidelines is for helping obey, not for disobeying. But he backslid now. Now he is saying that the Sabbath is not... Okay, anyway... The main objective of this document on Sabbath observance is to provide counsel or guidance to church members desiring a richer, more meaningful experience in Sabbath keeping. It is hoped that it will provide an impetus toward a real reform in Sabbath keeping on a worldwide basis. Conscious of the fact that the worldwide worshiping community encounters numerous problems in Sabbath observance arising from within a cultural and ideological context, an attempt has been made to take these difficulties into consideration. It is not the intent of this document to address every question pertaining to Sabbath keeping, but rather to present biblical principles and the spirit of prophecy guidelines that will assist the church members as they endeavor to follow the living of the world. It is hoped that the counsel given in this document will be helpful and timely. And ultimately, however, the decisions made under critical circumstances must be motivated by one's personal faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Sabbath, a safeguard of our relationship with God. Oh, you girls, you like to talk all about relationships day and night. <laughs> Diba? Sabbath is about relationships. The Sabbath, a relationship with God. The Sabbath encompasses our entire relationship with God. It is an indication of God's... <laughs> there is a love story. Uh, a, a man loved a girl. But the man started far away. And then the girl wrote the man a love letter. 
But the man said, I love my girlfriend, but I will read the letter later. <laughs> Do you think the, the man loves the girl? Maybe she, he was just busy, no? Busy with online uh, class. <laughs> I will read the message of my girlfriend later. And then the girlfriend sent another uh, letter. And then the man said, I will read later. I just put all the letters inside. The... Maybe you heard this story already. But a relationship is when you are excited to read about what God says. Okay, it is an indication. This is what I was watching for. That my laptop will slide. It is an indication of God's action on our behalf in the past, present, and future. The Sabbath protects man's friendship with God and provides the time essential for the development of that relationship. The Sabbath clarifies the relationship between God and human, the human family. For it points to God as the creator, as creator at a time when human beings would like to usurp God's position in the universe. Do you know that uh, the evolutionists have a problem? You know what is the problem? According to science, if you look in Wikipedia and, and other and Forbes magazine, etc., uh, carbon dating is not reliable. Oh. So evolution is have a big problem. They will change the books. In this age of materialism, the Sabbath points men and women to the spiritual and to the personal. The consequences for forgetting the Sabbath day to keep it holy are serious. It will lead to the distortion and eventual destruction of a person's relationship with God. So if you don't keep the Sabbath, you will die <laughs> later. You know, when Adam and Eve did not obey, they were both vegan. They ate only fruits. But they did not obey which fruit to eat. So because of that disobedience, they cannot live more than one day. Oh, di ba? One day is 1,000 years. The Bible, God said, if you eat of this fruit, in the day you eat, you shall surely die. So Adam and Eve, nor anybody else after Adam and Eve, never lived more than 1,000 years a prophetic day. Diba? When Noah started to eat meat, then his lifetime was cut to 120 something. And now it's about 70. So if you want to live more than 1,000 years, you have to pay everything that God says. Otherwise, you are going to die within 1,000 years or within 70 years. If we obey everything, we will be like Enoch who lived long, long time. When Sabbath is kept, it is a witness to the rest that comes from trusting God alone as our sustainer, as the basis of our salvation, and as the ground of our hope in the future. We are not saved by Sabbath keeping, but we die because we will disobey as the basis of our salvation and the ground of our hope in the future. As such, Sabbath is a delight because we have entered God's rest. Oh, di ba? You are happy in the Sabbath because you cannot check your eye study. <laughs> it says, Happy Sabbath. As such, the Sabbath is a... And your teacher cannot also check. <laughs> it will also say, actually some teachers were so stressed because they were doing something and then it, they just say it's 5.30 already they say almost Sabbath, almost Sabbath every time they click almost Sabbath as such the Sabbath is a delight because we have entered God's rest and have accepted the invitation to fellowship with Him when God asks us to remember the Sabbath day He does so because He wants us to remember Him yeah, nakalimutan na pala natin ang Diyos principles and theology nature and purpose of the Sabbath the origin is in creation why? Because God rested on the seventh day, Genesis 1-3. The Sabbath has significant, significance as perpetual sign of the everlasting covenant between God and the people in order that they might know who is that that created them. Genesis 31-17. And sanctifies them. You know what sanctifies means? Do you wash, how many times do you wash your clothes a week? Every time you wash your clothes or you sweep the floor, or you wash dishes, or you brush your teeth. It is sanctification. Oh. Just imagine you are being cleansed from all your sins, the dirt in our life. Sabi sa Exodus 31, 13. Surely my Sabbaths you shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that you may know that I am the Lord who washes 
our laundry. Oh. If we have sins, God can cleanse us from our sins. That's why we keep the Sabbath. It sanctifies us. Ezekiel 20:20. 20, 20. Moreover, I gave them my Sabbath to be a sign between them and me, that they might know that I am the Lord who, who sanctifies them. And Ezekiel 20:20 20, 20 also says, Hallow my Sabbaths, and they will be a sign between me and you, that you may know that I am the Lord your God. So when we keep the Sabbath, we know God. And it is a sign that we are God's children. Okay, the uniqueness of the Sabbath. The Sabbath is a special occasion for worshiping God as Creator and Redeemer and as the Lord of life with whom the human family will be reunited at the second advent. Yan. The Sabbath commandment forms the center of the moral law as the seal of God's authority. Since it is a symbol of God's love relationship with, it, with His earthly children, human beings are obliged to respect this gift in the, nonsense, in the sense that they will do everything in their power to promote and engage in activities that will help establish and enhance a lasting relationship with God. And thus, His people will engage only in those activities that are directed toward God and their fellow men and not in those that lean toward self-gratification. Diba? Sabi sa Isaiah, you should call the Sabbath a delight. You call it, but you don't make it a delight because it is already a delight. You don't do your own direction, your own travel, your own words, and your own thoughts. Yan. The universality of the Sabbath. The universality of the Sabbath is rooted in creation. If you did not come from Adam and Eve, no need to keep the Sabbath. Ah, that's why they want to say that we came from monkey. Oh. But if we came from monkey, how come monkey are still around? Diba? The universality, okay. Thus, its privileges and obligations are binding in all nations, sectors, or classes. When I was young, I was I was having rebellious thoughts. I said, why does God want us to obey? Then I realized there is no choice. God, God created us, God invented us. If we don't obey, we will just be like my cell phone, which I did not plug in after many hours, many days, it died. <laughs> so Sabbath is like, you know, plugging your cell phone and charging. Or classes, yeah. Exodus 20, 11, Six days shall you do your work, and the seventh day shall rest. You shall rest, that your ox and donkey may rest, and the son of your female servant and stranger may be refreshed. How about your computer? Do you need to rest your computer? Yes. Yes. How about my computer? That's a very uh, interesting question, but I'm the computer teacher, so, before. So, this is my answer. You know what? Whoever made the computer, you should obey. Because whoever made the human, we should obey, right? God made us, so God set the rules for us. If I'm the one who made the computer, you should also obey the one who made the computer, because the Creator knows best. Diba, diba? Okay, so, yan. So don't try to log into Irish uh, on the Sabbath. <laughs> Six days shall thou, your son, your female servant, and stranger that may be refreshed. What else? In Exodus 23, 12, it says, Six days, okay, it's the same thing. In Isaiah 58, Blessed is the man who does this, and the son of man who lays for it, who keeps from defiling the Sabbath. Okay. Likasha. Who keeps from walking his own way and talking his own thoughts and so on. How about the Sabbath time frame? In Genesis 1-1, uh, Genesis chapter 1, I mean, God, you know, do you know why in Genesis 1, it says many, many times, and there was evening and there was morning. The first day. And there was evening and there was morning. The second day. And there was evening and there was... Why every day there is evening and morning? Why do you need to write it down? <laughs> that is the safety. Because some people think that in creation, it took 1,000 years 
for God for the first day. In second day, 1,000 years. They want to expand the creation to 6,000 years. So that they don't have to keep the Sabbath for 6,000 years. They keep the Sabbath, okay. So, but uh, God is very smart. God told Moses, you put evening and morning every day. So that there will be no misinterpretation as to if, if it is this a prophetic year or a literal day. A, a prophetic day or a literal day. So, that's why it is evening and morning. And the evening comes first. So this time coincides with the time of sunset. Wherever a clear delineation of the time of sunset is difficult to ascertain, the Sabbath keeper will begin the Sabbath at the end of the day as marked by the delineation of light. Of course, some countries, the sunset takes six months or three months, etc. <coughs> Principles guiding Sabbath observance. Although the Bible does not deal directly with many specific questions, we may have regarding Sabbath observance, it does provide us with general principles that are applicable. Like, okay, the Lord gives you the Sabbath, He gives you on the sixth day bread for two days. Oh, this is, I think, during the time of manna, diba? Let every man remain in his place, let no man go out of his place on the Sabbath. Oh, that's why when Friday, the <laughs> latak. I bring uh, plenty of take-out box so that I don't have to come out of my dwelling place and uh, look for food. <coughs> but if you don't have ref, it's a problem, right? The law pro prohibits... Okay, there's more. The Bible is more important than the guidelines. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall do no work. You! Ah, nandito pala. Nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant. Where is the husband and the wife here? I know, you, I told you already last time, I think. It's here, right? Do you see the husband and the wife? It's here, you. You know, you. Uh, that's the husband and the wife, you. No labor or worldly pleasure or profit is lawful upon that day, but as God sees his labor in creating and resting upon the Sabbath, Blessed it also. So man is to live. Oh, some people will say, but I mean, this doesn't, this is not very hard to do. It's no, no effort to do the work. But did you know that God did not in, uh, exert any effort? All he said was, let there be light, let there be birds, let there be chicken, let there be fish. No, no effort, right? But he prepared everything before the Sabbath, even if he just do it voice command. And rested upon the Sabbath and blessed so man is to live the occupations of his daily life and devote those sacred hours to healthful rest, to worship, and to holy deeds. Yeah, Desire of Ages, page 207. Okay, what can we do? Both Old the New Testament invite us to care for the needs of others and sufferings of others. For the Sabbath is a day a good day for all, particularly the lowly and oppressed. Ah, so we can visit the sick and refresh the, the serve the other people. Okay, Matthew 10. Oh, that brought this one. I'm not going to... Yeah. It is lawful to do good on the Sabbath. Yet even good works on the Sabbath must not be obscured to chief the chief biblical characteristic of Sabbath observance. And since the Bible says it is lawful to do good, and we should follow the Bible in defining which good can we do on the Sabbath. So that we don't make the Bible contradict itself. This includes both physical and, and spiritual. The latter leads the Sabbath observer to seek the presence and communion with God. In quiet meditation, okay. Diba on Sabbath, it's very nice to sit under the tree and then think, you know what? Uh, on the Sabbath morning, the Lord God, uh, the Lord gives me plenty of ideas. I don't know if where the ideas come from, but there's, there's, there seems to be more ideas during the Sabbath than in other days. But ma so many of the ideas I cannot do because they are not for Sabbath. So I just remember them. But there are so many nice ideas, especially when I'm in church, in PIC. When I'm sitting there 
and uh, during the Arab worship, many ideas come to my mind. And public worship and meditation, because sometimes you want to walk there under the tree and look at the sunset on Friday. Uh, it is the object to recognize God as creator and redeemer. And it is to be shared by the individual family and larger community. Where did the Sabbath come from? From the Bible. Aside from this precept, there is nothing in the Decalogue to show by whose authority the law is given. Oh man. He only in the fourth commandment does it say that God is the creator of the heaven and the earth. And God owns. Do you know what own, owning means? God owns the universe. When we keep the Sabbath, we acknowledge that God is the owner and that we are creatures. Yeah. yeah, so why do we keep Sabbath? Because God owns everything and God invented everything, including us, and God sustains everything. Do you think the Sabbath is a suggestion or a commandment? No, it is a commandment. But we still have freedom. Sabbath keepers may have to face resistance at times because of their commitment. Have you ever been persecuted because of the Sabbath? Raise your hand, no? Oh, I will persecute you. <laughs> Practice lang. Sabbath keepers, I have a friend. I will just tell Alina, sorry because you are tired of listening to me. I have a friend who, they went to the retreat there in Batangas. But the small group said, we will have a, no, an activity, an activity daw, a secret activity. The officers did not tell the advisor. My friend is the advisor. Here is a uh, staff also, like me. So what they, the officers did, they got bolos and uh, headband so they cannot be recognized. And they started shouting, who are these people, who are these people? You should uh, step on your Bible, you should denounce. And they started to persecute the people in the camp. <laughs> and it was night already, so they did not know who is who. And the people were so afraid. So my friend, who is a staff, he was listening. What is happening outside? He was not uh, informed. <laughs> so he started to escape the camp. You know, if you're in Tagaytay, there's a, if you look at Tagaytay, there's a, no, there's a cliff going down to Talisay. They were in Talisay almost. And my friend escaped the camp without his slippers. <laughs> he just came out of his tent and he left the other advisor in the tent. He was, the other advisor was sleeping. So my friend hiked all the way from Talisay to Tagaytay. <laughs> the whole night, he just followed the creek going up to Tagaytay. When he reached Tagaytay at 4 o'clock in the morning, he said, at least, if they get persecuted, I'm the one who will say what happened. <laughs> he escaped the whole night. He was hiking up the whole night. At 4 o'clock, he was so muddy, and he tried to get up, uh, to flag down a bus. He climbed to the bus, and the, you know, what do you mean, the you know, conductor. The conductor looked at him, and he did not even ask for money, because he is, I don't know, he looks like he came from the bush. With so much mud, and he doesn't have, even have slippers. <clears throat> he escaped, and then he went to the treasurer of the Gaitai Adventist Church and reported, Please pray for the small group. They are persecuted in Talisay. <laughs> so the prayer re request went around the Philippines until Mindanao. And then the people, in, by the time, by that, that time, they already told them, uh, Okay, we were just testing you who will give up their, their faith. But, sir, my friend, he already went to Tagaytay and reported and had prayer requests to everybody texting, texting. And the text reached the camp. <laughs> they said, where is sir? Oh, sir is not here. He escaped. Really? That's why we are receiving so many texts. Please pray for us. Please pray for us. But they were just having an activity. So, I was kidding my friend. I said, at least you know that you are faithful. <laughs> you will run away when you are persecuted. <laughs> But you will not give up the Bible or the Sabbath. So <laughs> it's a funny uh, event. So everybody in AUP after that time, all workers and all students, they were talking about that event. <clears throat> Sometimes 
things happen to us. Okay. To those who do not recognize God as their creator, it seems arbitrary. Those who don't keep the Sabbath, they, they don't understand. Why would people inexplicably for someone to cease all work on the Sabbath day for merely religious purposes? Meaningful Sabbath observance testifies to the fact that we have chosen to obey, to obey God's commandment. But actually, if you stand on your principle, people will trust you more. What is that saying? Is it already 10 o'clock? Okay, maybe we can continue this. Ay, nandito pa lang yung scroll bar, oh. The Sabbath will be a special test in the end time. The believer will have to make either make a choice either to give allegiance to God's word or to human authority. Yan. Revelation 14 says, Fear God and give glory to Him for the hour, hour of His judgment has come. And worship Him who made heaven and earth, the sea and the springs of water. Revelation 14, 7, verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Aha! Even if there is siren, there is still not one. Here are those who keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus Christ. Mabuti na lang. I'm happy I summarized before we started. So, yan. I think uh, we already did that. Let me just scroll because our teacher said, before you say something, you tell what you are going to say. You tell what you are going to say and then you tell what you just told them. So people will remember. So to summarize, uh, to close, I will just again summarize what we just were not able to read enough. Uh, there are things here that I did not this is Sabbath and uh, marriage. Adults should teach children like in Genesis 18-19. If you are looking for a husband, you look for a husband who can command his children and his household after him that they may keep the way of the Lord to do righteousness. And you will have many children like Abraham. Oh, right? That the Lord may bring to Abraham what he has spoken to him. But when you want many blessings, it has also many tests of faithfulness. So it is a big responsibility for all people to teach the children. Do you know why in Aeolus it always told, tells the Bible verse? That's biblical. It's in Deuteronomy 6-7. 6-7 it says, you tell them about God's word when you rise up, when you eat, when you sit, when you travel, when you sit down and when you lie down, you always tell them of God's word so the children will not forget. And the Bible also says, those who are gods, listen to God's word. Oh, that's why if you don't like to listen, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Thou shalt teach them diligently. It's not dead. It is supposed to be Deuteronomy 6, 7. Teach them diligently unto thy children. So from earliest infancy, we teach children to go to church. Even if they are just running around, we keep them from running around. The preparation. You know the technique of observance is preparation. Some people say, when do you start preparing? On Sunday though. <laughs> the buying, and this is my favorite. <laughs> Sorry. The buying and preparation of food and the readying of clothes and all other necessities will be done before sundown Friday. Why? The whole week should be a preparation for the Sabbath. And what else? Did we not uh, Sabbath dress? You can just look at the poster. There is a poster somewhere here. Importance of Bible study hour. Yan. That's why I try to convince the people in church to make the Sabbath school long. You know why? Because our school is 45 minutes. Yeah, 10, 30, 10, 30, 11, 10, 11, 30, 8, 30, 2, 10. That's one and a half hour. But the Sabbath school is how much? How? 15 minutes? That's why many people are lost. They don't know what they believe. It's not Sabbath review. It's Sabbath school. Diba? So let's try to come early to church tomorrow. 
Your children do not have the advantage of Adventist, attending Adventist school. Yeah. You attend the free Sabbath school, free chapel period, free week of prayer, free Daniel and Revelation seminar. Though heaven and earth shall pass away, the truth there will not pass away. Family activities, yeah, it should be joyful, worship services, free from distractions. How about going to restaurant during the Sabbath? And dito yan. Saan na yun? This is culture. Let me just uh, read for you. Recreational activities. Okay. That is on sorry. While traveling, if you're a tourist, you should not uh, try to avoid the people who are not uh, keeping the Sabbath because you will hear their, what they are talking about, etc. How about for holiday? Okay, avoid. Adventists should avoid using the day for a holiday set aside for sightseeing and secular activities. Yeah. What do we do in the church on the Sabbath afternoon? Provide carefully planned Sabbath activities for different kinds of age group. Sabbath music, okay, you, you like music, very good. Community outreach, you talked about that already. In gathering, other days, fundraising, as long as when appeals for funds are made, they should be conducted in such a manner as to uphold the sacredness of the service as well as of the Sabbath. Sabbath weddings, very difficult because there's lots of preparation before the wedding and after the wedding also. Magligpit ng napakarami. How about funeral? Adventists should try to avoid Sabbath funerals. Yan. Why? You just read here. Because you will ask the mortician and cemetery employee to do their work. How about a uh, hospital? Okay. You take care of the sick, but if you can elect surgery another day, it's better. How about uh, having your operation on Friday? Oh. The most intensive care you need is after the operation. So they will work a lot during the Sabbath. So try not to have your operation on Friday, or Friday maybe Sunday or other day of the week. Emergency? No problem. Bible says even the ox needs emergency. How about office? In the hospital? No, no office, no office. Cannot be office. Elective and diagnostic? Other days. Administrative? Other days. Okay? I'm looking for the restaurants. Because many, I see many pictures of people in the States. They are eating in the restaurant during Sabbath because they are lazy to they don't have time and some of our friends also I see their pictures they are eating in the restaurant on Sabbath noon and they just put their Sabbath lunch but uh, I want to read it to you so that uh, And <clears throat> purchasing goods, eating out in restaurants, and paying for services provided by others ought to be avoided because they are out of harmony with the principle and practice of Sabbath. Okay, you take picture and then you paste, you send private message to your friends. Maybe you have teachers who order from pizza, or you just send a private message. I would like to, uh, you say, hey, sir, ma'am, I would like to respectfully remind you from Adventist.org that we are not supposed to order uh, pizza and have it delivered <laughs> on the Sabbath. Okay. Ayan, no? Eating out in restaurants. Even some pastors, we need to remind them. I just sent private message and then I don't see them. I don't see any more picture on the Sabbath. Anybody forget something? Okay. 
Sabbath travel. How about we will travel because there is a concert on sa on Saturday night. Ah. We should not. Saan ba yung dito? This is about fuel. I don't know if I can find it here. But somewhere else, I found it says that the hours of the Sabbath should not be used to travel to a secular activity on the Saturday night. Because you are using the hours. Thou shalt not steal. Sabbath hours are not ours. Sabbath hours are not ours. It's God's. So what do you do when your employer requires you to... I applied to Google when I was young. I don't know. Google found me. I said, they sent me a text. Are you in Alfred Pasamba? They sent an email. I said, this is just a robot. Why in on earth will Google email me? I am nobody. But they said, they sent another email. They sent another email. And then I replied, are you a robot? Because I know there are many robots just pretending and then they try to get you interested and they will ask uh, important information. They will get your bank account and etc. Et and then they said, ha ha, I'm not. I said, I'm not a robot. I'm, I'm actually, I'm recruiting for Google. Oh really, how did you find me? I was wondering, how did Google find me? Google recruitment is very... So they said, I'm a Seventh-day I said, I'm a seventh -day Adventist. Uh, I, I don't work from uh, Sabbath sunset to Saturday sunset. And then they said, uh, in Google, we need two people. Programmers who know system administration and system administrations, administrators who do programming. And they need, the, the system administrators, they need to be in, available 24 by 7. I made it clear, they also made it clear. I said, if I get accepted, I will resign on Friday. <laughs> okay, so, of course I'm still here. I passed the other exam. There are three exams, but that's not, uh, that is not important during the summer. What is important is, I made it clear I'm not going to work. They made it clear also they need me to work. So I said, I will just uh, <laughs> go through the exams, and if they like me, I will just resign on the Friday. Why? Because, diba? Keeping Sabbath is more important than working for Google. Oh, diba? There are only few people who were invited in the Philippines. But I'm talking too much about myself now. We should talk about God's word. Okay. A careful, but that's so listen. Yeah? A careful explanation. We should explain. And maybe those recruiter, recruitment people from Google will someday remember, oh, this, they will recruited somebody who didn't want to work on the Sabbath. Shift work. Man. I think we... We already know, oh, okay. we are ending already here. If you have any question, you can open this document, Adventist.org, and you just search Sabbath Observance. If there are things that you don't want to quest, ask also, you can message me, and I will try to search also and copy and paste ministry. <laughs> We don't have any truth. I don't invent. We don't need to invent anything. We just need to look. Search the scriptures for in them you think we have eternal life. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for the patience of the saints. We uh, ask that you give us wisdom and understanding so that we can learn what you want us to do. Give us conviction and resolve to obey your word, Lord. And so that you can teach us more things that we can obey. Thank you for the truth in the Bible, in the spirit of prophecy that our church is teaching us. Help us to show the light to other people who are forgetting and who don't know. Be merciful to us. We have many sins we don't know what to do before. But thank you for the truth, Lord. Thank you for saving us from all our sins. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.